Hi, Larry Gaines, PowerCycleTrading.com. Well, in trading, it really comes down to price direction and then, you know, managing your trading risk, which I like to do using options. But one of the key uh, ingredients or part of the formula for, uh, you know, good directional trading is finding the great setups. And one of my favorite is what we call the volatility squeeze, which is a consolidation pattern. So you can see here, this is BIIB. So you just see these dots, see how coiled and tight that pattern looks. And then the potential is for it to either explode to the upside or explode to the downside. So then what we look at is we look at momentum uh, measured by momentum indicators that uh, we use cycle one and two and that will give us the direction of probable direction of, of which way this would break so right here you can see that BIB potentially has a, a look to break or trigger to the upside so this has a pretty strong looking potential for a bigger move up so that's one and so these are all found with my scanner so this is locked into thinkorswim so program the scanner in so here's how quickly we can go through and look for various trades so BIB that one looks like poised for potential really big break to the upside. Uh, another one that looks good here is ABVV. All right. So again, you can see here's the weekly time frame on the left and a daily on the right. So again, you can see here when I zoom out a little bit more on the weekly, this is coming off a really low bottom. And you can see here that we're sitting right here on this 200 week moving average volatility squeeze here. This looks good for a pop and a trigger to the upside. So that looks good. Um, Here's uh, ZTS, just clicking through there. This is uh, up, up at the top of its range, but look, another volatility squeeze here at the top. So this has potential for a bigger move to the upside. Uh, here's one that's a potentially a, a short trade setup. This is on electronic or arts. And when we look at EA, we can see here that it's coming down back into the weekly 200 period moving average. And if this one starts to break below 90, 91, we're going to look for a big move to the downside. So this one is in a volatility squeeze on the daily, uh, has not decided which way to go up or down, but but uh, either way, it could have a big move. So uh, right now, just if you're looking at this, watch 90 closely. If it breaks 90, this could have a bigger move to the downside. So that's uh, Electronic Arts. Here's another one that looks pretty decent. Here's CarMax, CM, uh, KMX, okay? Up at the top of the range, you can see a bull flag here, very tight volatility squeeze. See the dots? That represents the squeeze that we're looking for. Right now, momentum is neutral down, but starting to push higher. You can see that this is a uh, histogram, so it's starting to push up a little bit, but not there yet. That's one to watch. Uh, MasterCard is one that's already starting to break out here at the upper end of the range. See the squeeze here, see the dots? That represents what we call the volatility squeeze. And this one today just popped a little bit into that first target, that prior high, and has potential for even a bigger move up. Lily is another one that looks good. So here's Lily coming off of a what we call a cycle low. And uh, this one is also coming from, from a very low cycle right here uh, about 114 volatility squeeze so this one has potential for a push back to the upside as well um, a couple others here csx here's one that looks like it's poised for a potential short trade setup so again a volatility squeeze if it starts breaking this area here 76 watch for a bigger move to the downside see the momentum has shifted down um, and just one more here's adobe there are just so many that you can find, you know, if you have the right tools. So we've got Adobe also in a squeeze here on the daily, and you can see it's trying to push up to that 618. has good potential for an upside move there. So wanted to point out, you know, this particular type of pattern for powerful moves up or down, but the other big key is, well, how do you find them? So uh, I like to use my scanner and then look for this particular pattern and then use options to trade it. So if you'd like to learn more about this, we're going to be doing a free webinar this Saturday uh, on uh, directional trading and how to identify uh, breakout trades and then how to trade them using options. So uh, use the link below to sign up. And uh, if you ever need to find out what we're doing, here's where you can find out. So just visit our website, PowerCycleTrading.com. Go to upcoming live events, click on that, and it'll show you what we have coming up. So uh, either free webinars or courses. So you can see here, we've got this, how to identify and trade breakouts using options for leverage and controlled risk. That'll be this Saturday, May 25th at 11 a.m. Eastern. So sign up, hope to see you there.